I want to talk about the use of witness cones in the in the uh, in the kiln. Witness cones are a way to measure what's called heat work, um, and a, a great analogy that I've heard used and I think is very appropriate is um, it's kind of like baking a turkey. You can bake a turkey at a low temperature for a long period of time or at a higher temperature for a shorter period of time. And the same thing is true with ceramics. Uh, the ceramic process develops uh, certain properties as it gets heat work. And that's really what you're after. That's what you want to know about. And uh, witness cones are a great way to find out what's really going on. So um, I like to fire them on one of the uh, posts and put a little bit of uh, kiln wash on it because these will melt and they will stick to the post unless you do that. Um, what we're going to do, and I like to put it, uh, sometimes I'll have it on different levels, but let's just say you want it to fire one pack, um, you would just ideally put it in the center of the kiln. And uh, I'm going to have, in this case, I'm going to fire it to cone six here. And uh, I have a, a number uh, six, I have a number five, and I have a number seven. I'm putting the number five cone in as a, uh, a guide cone. Then I have a, uh, the firing cone, which will be a number six. And then I have the guard cone, which is a number seven. And I'll put that in there. Um, and what will happen if this fires exactly correct is uh, this will bend all the way down. This will bend so the point almost touches the uh, ceramic. And then this may bend slightly, but, but probably not much. So we're going to put this in the kiln. And uh, after the kiln fires, we will actually see what, uh, what has happened. Now, if I want to get really, really uh, finicky about it and, and very careful, I can locate this in such a, a way, uh, and I could, ideally I'd have all three, but I could do it with just one, where I'm seeing, I can visually see this through the peephole. And that would actually allow me to manually stop the kiln at any point when my uh, firing cone is bent to the proper position. Uh, so another thing I want to mention here is that the thermocouples in the kiln are measuring um, a point in space uh, and that's only temperature they're measuring. They're, uh, and even though we know the, the amount of time because the control uh, is aware of that and, it, and in fact in the easy fire programs it actually uh, does a compensation to uh, basically replicate uh, what the cones are doing. It's still an inexact thing. It's repeatable. But to get the kiln to the point where it's doing just what you want it to do and calibrating it to do that, it's, there's no substitute for witness.